Hi everyone, Omeza here. Today I'm going to show you how to create this creative Excel dashboard from the scratch. Welcome to my free Excel dashboard. Right here we see this 15 notification. If we click on it, this is what we're going to see. This is wonderful, right? Do not worry. I'm going to show you how to create this from the scratch. And you're going to have this dashboard downloaded to take a look at it yourself, how it works, and how everything just got played out. So right now we have 15 notifications, which means we have 15 sales based on this particular day today. But it display it displays the top three on view. Right now we have this, this, and this. The remaining ones are under this particular very link right here. So if we click on it, we have all the 15 sales we made for today. If we keep making sales and keep refreshing our dashboard, we're gonna have to see this being you know accumulating every single time. So we click back and we hit the dashboard again. So right now you can see what it stands for. It gives you 15 notification. If we have more sales, it's gonna keep counting and keep accumulating over and over again to thousands or wherever. So I can actually hide this away again. So right now we have in that future right here, which is a particular search. Bar. So that can actually use the search for customer. Like if we search for this particular customer, I'm gonna say oh okay, fine. I'm gonna hit enter and here we go. It gives us more information about this particular customer, the transactional history. Now you can see what we have right here, result for Sully uh web ismail. So right now we can see the total purchase, the quality purchase, the transaction, how is how many times this particular customer had ever purchased from us twice. Now the first day of the transaction was 15 January 2020 and the last day of transaction is 8 January 2021. So right now if I actually place a particular uh, filter based on store, you're gonna see everything right here gets to actually change dynamically. Can you see that? So you can actually test it out and see yourself if you have it downloaded. So right now, let me show you another wonderful aspect of it. Right here, if I click on it, I'm gonna see more information about the analysts. So the phone number, the name, and right here, I have the profile. If I click on it, this is what's gonna happen. So right now, I take the whole dashboard out of focus. And what we focus on right now is this. I'm gonna show you how to create all this from the scratch. Wow. This is nice, right? So right now, what we see, we have the name of the analyst, the career, the continent, the country, the country, the city, the career, the continent, the, con the continent, and the summary about the analyst. So you're gonna take a look at it yourself. So I'm gonna click away and go back. So right now, we're gonna have right now is an aspect. So when you click on the setting, what you're gonna have to go to, where you where you gonna have to go to. So I'm gonna click on it, and here we go. So we have the back end right here for you guys. So it's not very much advisable to have all your pivot table or all your analysis in one sheet. If you know it's gonna grow over and over again, you can use different sheets. Just because of this lesson, so I'm using one particular sheet. So, but don't use this as uh, you're gonna actually do this over and over again. You can mess it up. So don't do it. So right now, here we go. So if I actually wanna close and save right now, even though if the last thing I did was not saved, I'm gonna keep this one, it's gonna actually sell and actually close dynamically. So I'm gonna actually have to close this, right? So it's gonna go, it's gone. So right now we wanna scroll down, but we don't wanna actually scroll down, just keep scrolling down over and over again like this. So we want to actually do it in a very way that's gonna actually make it some kind of like cool. So I'm gonna click right here and you see something that appeared right here. If I click again, it disappears so I'm gonna make it up here so here we go if I click it here we go this is what we have so right now we are having the positive contributions from top four customers and products and now we have top four customers and top four products and we have status which is a percentage they actually contributed to us so over our overall sales and right here is what we have again so what we're actually showing right here is it says in the current year 2021 by weekdays. So if I click on the same bar where we don't really have this on this particular year, so what we're gonna have is something like this. It displays to us some messages. Now if we clear this away from here, clear this away, and clear this away, we're gonna have we're gonna have something like this. So if you are actually working for a client or for a boss and your boss is going to be like, what the heck is wrong? Why is 
this is not really working so if your boss is going to read this and he's going to, he's going to understand or she's going to understand what is actually going on right here please click on the checkbox to display charge so if i click on this right now because i got some information now this is what it is so right now no sales for the selected filter which means the reason why we don't have it to show up right here was because we selected a filter so right now i'm going to select the match right now and see what i'm going to have right here can you see that it's going to actually popped out so every single time I make a selection of any of this filter right here you see the percentage changes and as well the name changes as well so look at it November right here and see the name we have right here it does change and it has changed to Apple beer so if I click on August so something different is gonna actually pop out it is so right now I'm gonna click to go to the top right here so right now we are gonna look at this particular um, search bar if I actually clear it out this is what I have I have empty of uh, of the, the, the name is away right now thing is right here is all empty and this particular aspect changes color we will learn how all this works so you want to start for a particular customer right now i'm going to type it in um uh, mean you share so if i hit enter you see it popped out this is what it is very dynamic very very simple and easy to actually build so we use a little bit macro right here which is vba I'm gonna show you how to write such VBA. Let me show you the code of those uh, VBAs that is actually making this tab. We click on this and click on Visual Basics. Now here is the code that is making everything to run. It's not really much. It's just these few codes. I'm gonna walk you through how to do this. And if you look at what we've done right here, is to recycle through our codes and actually make a little changes, you no, know, whatever. And it's actually working well. So. This is exactly what it is. I'm going to show you how everything works. Even though if you had never written a single line of VBA before, I'm going to show you how that is going to be done in no time. So right now, if you're here for the first time and you want to actually learn how to create this dashboard, right now what you need to do is to hit the subscribe button, smash it, smash that subscribe button, and actually start learning ASAP. Right now, click anywhere from here or from this particular card that actually is going to pop out soon and actually start learning. If you can't see any card right now, you want to click just go below the comment section and i'm gonna have a playlist of this very dashboard i've actually created over time for you guys to actually start learning from the scratch so now i want to say thank you for watching i'm gonna get this away from here right now and this is what it is